Hi there, Susan Winter here, your love and dating and relationship coach to my subscribers and my wonderful family of YouTube followers and fans. I thank you so much for coming back and for joining me each week. And if you're new and you like what I have to say and it's helped you, please click the subscribe button. Today's discussion is all about when you were so close and you really felt like it was going forward and suddenly they just ended. And you're left wondering, was it all an act? Am I delusional? Did I start to imagine this in my mind? How do you go from here to nothing? Okay, so as you know, I take your questions, susanwinter.net, it's the last page you write video requests, and we have pulled this one out because we've been talking a lot about this lately, relationships where the person is here and then suddenly they're gone. So this is when you wonder if it was all an act. Anna writes, my question is, was it all an act? One minute he's telling me he's been looking for a woman like me forever and wants a future with me. The next, out of nowhere, he acted like I did not exist. Just the few days before he ghosted me, everything was good. <laughs> he ghosted her. Oh my God. Okay, we were texting, flirting, making plans. Side note, he said he's been cheated on twice in the past. Is this an ego boost for him? Thank you, Susan. Okay, Anna, I don't know if this is an ego boost for him. And I don't even know that he's actually frightened that you're going to hurt him. But I think he's way too quick on the pace and anybody that it does not sound like you're in a relationship, okay? It sounds like you just started seeing somebody and they came on strong. They made a full court press play for you, gave you all the beautiful words you want to hear. Maybe they wanted to sleep with you right away. Maybe they got you into bed. Maybe they got what they wanted. But now the guy's like, okay, now I'm done. Anytime a person comes on that strong and tells you these things, they don't know you well enough. If they tell you this after a month of dating and they reveal it sincerely and maybe with a little bit of discomfort for being so vulnerable, that's a different story. If they use it as the bait to pull you in, that's a sign. So was it all an act? In his case, I think it was both. Remember, you wouldn't have bought it if there weren't a bit of truth. The best cons have some truth in them. That's why they work. A person can't say things that don't resonate with you. But the downfall for every human being is we love to be adored. We want to be appreciated. And it is very powerful to have somebody shine the light on you. This is kind of player material. And was he cheated on by the other two girls? See, here's where years ago, I remember telling this to a friend. I was like, oh, he's been cheated on by his girlfriend. He came back from work one night and found her in bed with his best friend. And oh, this poor man. And I thought he was so good because I, I came from Minnesota. What, what did I know? Right. And she turned around and said to me, Susan, what is it about him that his best friend and his girl that he's living with could sleep together. This is what you don't know and this is what you should be asking. And thank you, my friend, because that's the advice I'm going to pass on to you. What did these two women know about this guy that you did not know? Now, could he be a really nice guy that got two flaky women that didn't know what they wanted? Maybe, maybe, but also, Instead of looking at him like the victim who's guileless, and of course, if he wants to, he wants a real relationship, maybe you should also be factoring in some questions such as, how could two women in a row cheat on him? Was he inattentive? Did he not make them feel worthy? Did he have a bad selection process? Is he you know, lacking in relationship skills? What do I need to know? So. This is simply to balance your questions, and it's not to make anybody who has been cheated on feel as though that is not a violation. It is. But I want to put it in context of shooting it from all angles. I don't 
think it was an act. I think it was real in the moment. The ghosting, you better keep walking the other way. I don't care what the reason is. The example you've already gotten is that you have a guy who won't talk to you honestly, who won't tell you the truth, who doesn't value you enough to step through his own fears and have the courage to man up and say, hey, I'm so sorry. I think I went too fast and I am simply not ready. Not just for you, for anybody. I am really sorry. And take the hit of your emotional anger. But instead, he was a coward and he ghosted you. So you do not want somebody that treats you that way. Okay? Thank you so much for this. And I do appreciate your question. And I hope I've given you some kind of solace. You know, it's very hard to know how to add all these things up and decode some of these problems. So I hope you keep coming back and listening. And I hope that you have some information that's helped you. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, it's at susanwinter.net, the homepage. If you want a consultation, that's the consultation page. And if you want to write me with your question, go to the last page that says contact. Underneath the media, there is a box that says video requests and put your question there and we'll get to it. Thanks a lot, Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.